My next guest takes on Katie Collins at LFA 21 coming up here in September 1st. It's Shannon Sin joining me here on the program for the very first time. Shannon, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. No problem. Well, uh, glad to have you on the program. And uh, it's the first time I've had you on the show. So I got to ask the natural question. How'd you get involved in combat sports? Oh, wow. Um, I got involved in um, combat sports about seven years ago and just looking for a new workout, um, something to keep me motivated. I come from a track and field background. Um, so I was just looking for something to stay in shape and um, just to get me into the gym. And when was that moment for you where you're like, hey, I'm going to make a run at this as a professional uh, fighter? Because, I mean, that's, you know, obviously that's, you know, people go into to get in shape, but, uh, you know, it's another thing to actually compete in the sport. Yeah, um, well, the gym that I had first joined, uh, they had a female there that was getting ready for her first fight. Um, when I came in, I was a good body for her to kind of, you know, beat up a little bit. Uh, and then just seeing her go through the entire camp um, and fight, it, it just inspired me to do it. And, you know, like I said, I have a track and field background, so I'm very competitive anyways. Um, and it just brought out the, you know, that fight in me. Excellent. Now, along with fighting, uh, what else do you do for a living? What sort of pays the bills for you right now? Um, well, I quit my day job a little over a year ago to just pursue fighting um, and hopes that things would work. Um, and fortunately, uh, long, during between that time and now, I was able to, or even just a year ago, able to open um, a gym with a couple other people. So I run a, a gym of 300 members. Excellent. And how's that been uh, being a gym owner now? It's it's good. It's a, a lot of work. It keeps me busy. Um, but, you know, I'm at the gym all day anyway. So, you know, it's good. It's it's nice to be at my own gym. Let's talk about this fight here. You're taking on Katie Collins. You're making your LFA debut. How did this all come together with you fighting for LFA? Because this is a huge promotion for you. Uh, yeah. Um, well, it is a short notice fight. Um, I just... Actually, it was one of my teammates that uh, got approached about the fight initially, um, but she was, you know, she's smaller than flyweight, uh, so it kind of didn't make sense. And she had just um, competed, you know, like a week before that, and she just came out of three fight camps. So just the timing wasn't right for her at the time. Um, and, you know, I, I was training, I've been training hard, um, you know, for a while now and just figured, you know what, I'll, I'll step up and take it. You know, uh, Katie needs a fight. Uh, I'm always down to fight. Excellent. How do you feel like you match up against her uh, now that you've had a chance to assess her as an opponent? Uh, I think it's a good matchup for me. Um, you know, uh, I, I know Katie, uh, she, she likes the clinch. Uh, she's got, she's a very strong, um, she's very strong in the clinch. Um, something I like as well, but, um, I believe I've also got, you know, uh, great footwork, good hands, and, and, and a great ground game. So um, I, th I think I match up well regardless of, you know, what kind of fight it is. And you're uh, training at a great camp right now. I saw you. There's that photo going on social media. You're training with Valentina Shevchenko, the Shevchenko sisters, of course, Rose Nami Yunus. You know, how much confidence does that give you getting to train with fighters like that, especially heading into a big fight like this? It's huge. I mean, <laughs> every day is a war in the gym with those ladies. Um, like you said, the Shevchenko sisters, Rose and J.J. Aldridge, um, there is no easy round in there. So, um, you know, it's preparing me well. And like I said, I've been, I've been in that gym, in those sessions for a few weeks now. So, uh, you know, it, it's like a fight anyway. So that's, you know, that helps me make that decision to take a short notice fight. Um, I, I, you know, I, I feel confident. I feel, I feel ready short notice or not. And I was going to say, anyone looking at this fight uh, might think it's a bit of a mismatch because of your record, but I don't think people look at the opponents you've fought. I mean, you fought Andrea Lee, you've had some really tough fights. You know, how much do you feel like your experience will help you in this matchup? Because you fought some pretty tough fighters. Uh, I think that's one thing about me. Um, I, I don't take easy fights. Um, my record shows that. And, you know, um, to a certain extent, that may have been a bad idea along my career. Um, but, you know, I... I I'm in it to fight, so I'm not looking for an easy win. Um, all my opponents either have, um, you know, really, you know, they're just really strong fighters or they have winning records. Um, so, you know, win or loss, win or losing, you know, I think I, you know, I've got good experience and um, I think that'll carry me through this fight. And how's the weight cut going getting down to flyweight? Uh, the weight cut is good. Um, I actually, can, before I had said yes to this fight, um, I had accepted a pro grappling match, so I competed last week um, at a catch rate of 130 in a pro grappling. So, you know, I, I was 
been monitoring my weight for, you know, a few weeks now anyway for that. Um, so I'm right where I need to be. Things worked out perfectly. How do you see this foot unfolding on September 1st with you and Katie Collins? Oh, I think it's going to be amazing. Um, you know, like I said, I know Katie's, uh, she's very aggressive. Um, and, you know, I, I like to fight. So uh, I, I think we're going we're gonna to mix up well in there. Uh, I think it'll be fun. And, you know, the, to me, the, the females always bring a good fight. And I think uh, this will be no different. And I completely agree on that. Now, we've covered uh, everything here. You know, gym owner, fighter. What about downtime? What do you like doing uh, when you're not in the gym, not training? What would I find you doing? Uh, probably just uh, hanging out with my boyfriend, with my dog, um, maybe some family or teammates. You know, we just, just kind of hang out outside the gym. I, I, there's not a whole lot of downtime. And when it is, um, you know, when there's that time, it's actually just doing nothing, just hanging out. <laughs> well, you, you got some great outdoors out in Colorado. I mean, it's uh, really nice out there. I imagine you do any hiking and stuff with the dogs and everything? Um, every now and again, uh, not not a ton. Um, yeah, not a whole, not a whole lot. Fair enough. But... It can get get cold out there sometimes. Not this time of year, but uh, you know, in the winter. I'm up here in Canada, so I I, I can oh, uh, right. I, I know what you're talking about there. Uh, what about uh, are you are you watch any TV at all? Any Netflix? Anything like that? I, I have my shows that um, get. Well, let's let's, let's and, hear the list. I you got me intrigued. Let's, binge let's watch. <laughs> By the time I get home um, at night, it's usually about ten thirty, eleven, and I've got um, shows for the, pretty much every night of the week. I'm <clears throat> one of those who are really into the Game of Thrones. Um, I watch a show called Shooter about a Marine. Um, what else? I, I I have a lot of them. I was going to say, you had me a Game of Thrones, because that's a great uh, choice right there. Uh, very, obviously, the, the show that everyone's talking about these days, right? Yeah, The Walking Dead, Fear the Dead, all those. I'm uh, I'm a junkie. But they, they watch really like late hours, early hours in the morning. Good stuff. Well, everyone's got to check out this fight. It's on uh, September 1st, live on Access TV. It's LFA 21. Shannon, thank you so much for joining me here on the program. Just to remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you've got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Right on. Um, yeah, you can follow me on social media, um, on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook at Shannon Sin, last name S-I-N-N-M-M-A. Um, same, same handle on all of them. Um, and then just a shout out to my gym, Grinders Fitness, and all my training partners, um, my coaches, Albert Rosales and Mike Gonzalez, and some sponsors, uh, Spartan Labs, Denver Chiropractic, MMA Roadhog, Tank Float Boutique and Smile Logic.